Hello and welcome again. I'm Dr. Michael Ritchie of the Ritchie Eye Clinic and I want to thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about vitamin supplements. In particular, I'd like to talk about omega-3 fatty acids. Now, we all know the health benefits of omega-3s. Pretty well accepted that omega-3 fatty acids are good for your heart, that they help lower cholesterol, but did you know that they're also good for arthritis? skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis, and in my line of work, they're very helpful for things like dry eye and macular degeneration. Now, let's talk a little bit about omega-3 fatty acids. As you can see, omega-3 fatty acids come from two main sources, fish and nuts. Now, there are a few others, but these are the primary, the primary sources. With fish, we find two different kinds of omega-3 fatty acids. We abbreviate the first one EPA and the second one DHA. The significance is that this is the omega-3 fatty acid that helps decrease inflammation. The DHA is the one we talk about as brain food. This is the one that will penetrate from the bloodstream into the brain. Coincidentally, it's also the one that will penetrate into the retina and can be helpful for macular degeneration. Now, if we look at fish, they're loaded with these two versions. These are the two we need the most. When we look at nuts, and when I talk about nuts, we're talking about peanuts, almonds, cashews, but also flax and flaxseed oil. Not only do they have EPA and DHA, but they also have a version of omega-3 called ALA. This stands for alpha-linoleic acid. Unfortunately, this is the wrong omega-3. ALA increases inflammation. So when we look at nuts, the ratios of the good omega-3s compared to the harmful is such that we don't get a tremendous omega-3 benefit from nuts. Now, do nuts have other advantages? Absolutely. They're a great source of protein. But I encourage people to consider this when we're looking at a source of omega-3. Fish tends to have higher concentrations of the omega-3s that we need and that we want. Nuts are probably a better source of protein than they are omega-3. Now, as we talk about this, and you go to the store and you look for fish oil, well, my goodness, what do you do? You can buy the tub, you can buy the brand name, and then there's one that we found that I'll talk about in a few minutes. How do you know which one to get? Ironically, the generic with 400 capsules is exactly the same price as the brand name, which has 180 capsules. And interestingly, this is less expensive than 120 capsules of a brand that is actually more valuable. Let me explain as we go. When we talk about omega-3 and how effective it's going to be, we have to talk about how much actually gets absorbed into your body. It doesn't matter how much omega-3 is in the capsule. What matters is how much do you get into your system. So if we're actually talking about how much gets absorbed into your system, let's look at what makes the difference. When we talk about fish oil, fish oil is extracted from the fish itself, whether it's a sardine, um, an anchovy, or uh, whatever brand of fish they're using. It is, in its natural form, a triglyceride. That's how our body wants it. Unfortunately, because our seas are contaminated, so is the fish oil. So we have to get rid of the contaminants like heavy metals, mercury. So we distill the fish oil to create pure omega-3. Now the advantage is that this is pure. The disadvantage is that we change the triglyceride form into an alcohol called an ethyl ester. Now this is where most brands in the US stop. This is how they sell it. It is pure, 
but as an ethyl ester, it's poorly digested, poorly absorbed, and this is where we get side effects. Gas, we get that fishy taste. Many people can't tolerate taking these pills because when we digest an ethyl ester, we create methane gas. It doesn't sit well in our systems. What really should be happening is that the omega-3 in ethyl ester should be reconstituted, a process called transesterification. So it's transesterified into pure omega-3 back into the natural triglyceride form. Now the advantage is this is very natural, easily absorbed, and there are very few side effects. Problem is, this is an expensive step. In the United States currently, I have been able to find only two products that have the omega-3 in the pure triglyceride form. Those brands are Nordic Naturals, and you can buy Nordic Naturals at most health food stores. You will not find this on the shelves of most mass market stores. The other one is one called Physician Recommended Nutraceuticals. That's the name of the company. They abbreviate their name PRN. Again, a lot of hoopla about the difference between an ethyl ester and the triglyceride form. Many of you may say, well, what's the difference? The difference is in how the body can absorb and use it. Now, ultimately, what we want from our omega-3 supplement is we want to achieve two to three grams of omega-3 into our bodies, preferentially the EPA and the DHA every day. So how do we go about doing that? Well, if we look at our fish oil vitamins, this one has 400 in a capsule, and it says here you have 1,000 milligrams of omega-3. So you would think three a day. In reality, it would take over 30 a day in order to get your body to absorb two to three grams of omega-3 from this product. For this product, much higher quality, it says on the back that this has 2,400 milligrams of omega-3. Interestingly, only 720 of that is EPA and DHA. But because this is in the ethyl ester form, it would take 17 of these in one day to achieve that dose of two to three grams. This is a bottle made by PRN. This has omega-3 in the triglyceride form, the way we need it, it says on the back that we have 1,100 milligrams per capsule, but 900 milligrams of that is DHA and EPA. We only need to take four of these a day in order to achieve that dose of two to three grams, because this is, in essence, 100% absorbed when you, when you take it by mouth. Having said that, let's compare some of the pricing. This bottle is $32. This bottle, $20. And this bottle, $20. But if we look at a monthly cost analysis, and I have to grab my sheet here because I calculated this out, if we take this brand from PRN, it will cost you $32.50 a month to achieve therapeutic dose. With Nature Made, $45.90 a month. And with the generic brand, $52 a month. Now the brand I didn't mention is the Nordic Naturals. I was unable to find a bottle of that for this presentation. But someone else has calculated the Nordic Naturals uh, absorption rate, and it would take 11 Nordic Naturals each day to achieve therapeutic dose. So with the Nordic Naturals, a little bit more expensive product, we're probably going to end up in the range of $65 to $70 a month to achieve therapeutic dose. 
to drive this home a little bit, take a look at it from what I do. We use omega-3 fatty acids to treat dry eye and to treat macular degeneration. We have conclusive studies that now show this works. And this is really important. Because of that, it's not surprising that we're seeing pharmaceutical grade production of some of these products. This is truly now a medicine that can help us with certain diseases. The age-related eye disease study phase two has shown conclusively that omega-3 fatty acids combined with other vitamins make a huge difference in vision and protection of vision. If that's the case, we need to demand that these products have some consistency. If you're going to take these, you need to know what you're actually getting. That's where it makes sense to stay with a good product, understand how it's made, and take what you really need. The problem is there's no regulation, there are no rules, and they don't have to label what you're getting. You will not find on the labels of any of these products that they are the omega-3 in the ethyl ester form. The companies that provide it to you in the triglyceride form do label it that way. It is right on the front, but there's only two companies. It's worth it to spend a little more to get the product you need that will serve its purpose. Thank you.